Hey, what's going on all? I'm One Hero, and I'm here with my new video series called Creatively Foolish. It's going to be talking about creative writing, storytelling, and everything involved with creating your own story as you watch me on my journey to create mine and many more. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy it. I'm ready to do this. Peace. back so thank you for those that stayed anyone's missing out hopefully you come back and check it out okay. and we're back today's topic i am one hero <clears throat> it's me uh pretty much this is just an intro video as to who i am to let you know who you're going to be dealing with on this journey on this video series so that way you can kind of get an insight on who i am to see if i'm who you want to put up with or who you don't to some of my friends i talk a lot to some of my friends they're like you know you're the type of guy i need to be around i love you i need you around you really do try to inspire da, 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 da. i'm not perfect i'm human i make my mistakes but i try to learn from them i do i do i do i do Unfortunately, there are those I have ruffled feathers with because of our strong opinions and the fact that we do butt heads and some that just really don't, you know, I don't appeal to. But all of those things kind of go into play with creating. You know, if you're going to create your own story, you're going to create your own comic, you're going to create your series, your music, whatever the case may be, you're going to run into people you're going to butt heads with because everybody's different. Everybody creates differently. Everybody enjoys different things. So never set out really just to try to please everyone. It's not going to work. Never will. Don't even do it. Don't even think about it. Seriously. Don't. It's not good. But more of that later on as the video series goes on. But today, pretty much, I am here to, again, inspire, motivate, uh, show you how to live. Just be yourself and enjoy what you do. First and foremost, the most overtalked thing that anybody could ever say when you're going into a field like creating, discover your why early, remember your why always. And when you get down and out or you feel like you don't know what you want to do or what you want to give up, look back on that why. Open up that locket, look at that picture of whoever it is, look on the wall at the poster that you printed out, look at all the amounts of scripts that you've written, look at the amount of rough drafts you've gone through and thrown into the trash can and remember that why on why you're doing it, first and foremost, always. But 27 year old Detroit native, I write, I, I enjoy writing, I create, I love creating. I work a nine to five job selling furniture to pay for my dream. You know, it's not the not the best path. I mean, but a job is a job. And when you're going toward the journey that you want to go toward, you'll do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. My first story, my first attempt at this is called Infinite the Journey. It's an ongoing webcomic. It is manga inspired and it's been going on since January 12th, 2014, if I'm not mistaken. And it's been going on for two and a half years now. We're almost done. We're on the final push to get volume one complete. And I work with a fantastic team from Leah Perone, the concept artist to Tania Miguel, who is the cover artist for chapters one through four in coloring, alongside of her partner, Vera Dorado, who is no longer with us due to medical reasons, and then to the talented sequential team of Sebastian Riera as the pencilist, and then Prajak Genpech as the inker and toner. And sometimes he does color the pages, which are freaking sweet. The whole team I have, I appreciate you all, and I love you guys dearly because you're helping me. Take that for what it is, but truly I do. I, I couldn't be here without you guys. For all you people that are writers that have to work with artists, establish a good relationship with them. It truly will do you wonders in the long run and just understand the concept of it. I got started because as far as me going with creating, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a webcomic. That's what I want to do is to continue to create other stories. Going forward, I have tons of other stories lined up. I just got to finish them and, you know, build my portfolio that way. So that'll be fun to do. So that's what I'm doing. You know who I am. Hopefully, you're going to learn more about me over the course. Why I'm doing it is because it's something that kind of pegged at me. I would watch tons of different movies and go to tons of creative outlets from the visual medium. But I'm the biggest film buff that I know. I love movies. I love television shows, animated series, video games. All of those things with creative storylines, I'm all over it all over it one thing continued to happen to me whenever i would watch a movie watch a tv series play a game my mind wouldn't start to predict what was going to happen next or how it was going to end i would literally take the story and the concept that i fell in love with that interests me in the project anyway and then i would turn around and have this other plot and everything configured in my own mind so i'm going into a movie expecting it to come out this way and then i'm like oh because that's how i would have wrote it so it's like 
over time, over the last couple of years, it started to happen a lot more and a lot more and a lot more. And I kept teetering on that side of, should I really try to create? I don't know what I would do if I wanted to. And then along came anime and manga. I'm a guilty fanboy. I'm a, you know, growing up watching Dragon Ball Z. That was the thing that pushed me over the edge to say, okay, I want to see if I can do this because that inspired me enough. It's crazy how we can learn so much, be inspired so much more. By people we really don't even know but just by creative characters that's a meme i've seen it somewhere in the world and i've seen that meme and it was like to know that i've learned more from the creative people i've watched in movies tv series all my life than real people they're not even real but i've learned because of somebody else inspiring it's unreal unreal but yeah that's what happened i was watching avatar the last airbender i had heavily got into naruto samurai shampoo trigun just a lot of really cool stories and it was like you know if they did it why can't i and i have stories to tell i know i do and then infinite blossomed from just an idea i was on an xbox live hangout with some friends and i had the vision of my main character ko at the point where he had become a guardian watching over the place that he was protecting and i'm like huh i think i got something guys and they're like no do you have no idea how much work has to go into doing that? You're crazy. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. You got to do this and that and this and that. And on the inside, I'm like, it's so crazy. It just might work. So long story short, I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I found a character, concept artist, Leah, and she gave me my first draft of KO. After I got KO, it was Murder, She Wrote. It was like, okay, this is it. This is it. It's true. It's really a reality. It can happen. I got a character done. Next thing you know, seven characters later, I got all the guardians done. I got the main protagonist done, the antagonist done. Then I got some concept art done to show the scenes for the chapter one. And then I put those up and then the reception came back and I'm like, oh, this is real. This is really going to happen. Oh my God. I, I got to do it now. I can't go back. <laughs> There's no turning back. There's no turning back at all. So I did. And I'll never regret that decision from all the ups and downs that I've had, from the countless artists I've had to work to get to the team that I have now, to all of the redone pages, to all of the experience I've had to learn from going from an unappreciative writer of artists to becoming a more, a more appreciative person, to appreciating what they do as far as their craft and what goes into it. So I truly, truly enjoy creating. It's my calling. I'm at work. I'm thinking about it. The only reason why I work is to support this. You know, I don't know where I would be without my imagination. That's always been a very big part of me. So now being able to utilize that and tell my messages, my themes, my visions through my creative endeavors is a great challenge for me, but I enjoy it so much. Also for the fact that I'm finding a way to inspire the world. So that's why that favorite saying of mine, which is I creatively look to inspire the world through my eyes and become a pillar of light for all dreamers. That's true true like that's what I do it for that's why I do it I'll motivate everybody to their dying breath I'll motivate everybody to my dying breath because I want to see everybody succeed when you think you're walking by yourself you're really not I'm right there with you even if you don't believe me and even if I don't know you I'm there because we're all running the same race we're all walking the same path just different variations different shades different colors different everything but that's pretty much what this channel is going to be about that's what I'm about that's why I'm doing this and I think I can make a great thing out of this so I hope that this video and among the other videos goes into great use. That goes into great use because there might be somebody out there on the verge of giving up like I was when things got hard, but I didn't. And now I'm here about to finish my first book. When at the beginning, like I just told you, nobody told me to do it. They said, this is crazy. You won't be able to do it. And I'm just as normal as you are. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing greater than me because greatness lives within all of us. No matter how limited you may be. I was publishing Infinite The Journey at one page, two pages a month on a minimum wage salary working at GameStop. And now I'm here. There's nothing that can stop you, nothing. And if you think there is, you come talk to me and I'll give you the motivation you need to do so. Cause I'm right there with you. We all have chosen our creative fates. So let's follow them out to the end and follow our dreams and be happy doing it. Cause that's what I'm all here for. And I'm down for that ride. As long as you are, are you? Take my hand, pound the fist, salute, peace sign, whatever. Be the hero, be your hero. And that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm going to follow up with another video to try to kick this off, talking about something as far as storytelling and creating for a character. So I hope you stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy that one as well. And again, I really, really, really appreciate everyone. Thank you for your time and consideration. I am yours truly, one hero, and I'm signing off. Flight one is now over. Peace.